Hello there, I'm Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today we have a fun variety show that we might call it. It's a special version of how we chose our decks and how we chose our commanders and more. We have Jason, as this is his brainchild, he'll explain it here shortly. But before we jump into it, if you'd like to see fun things like this, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. We did update it. We have a lot of fun things coming this year. We can't do this without your support. Go check it out. It's only two bucks a month or around 20 bucks a year. I hope to see you there. But with that, Jason, tell us a little bit about your idea here. Thanks, Carlos. So we called this pick their poison because we actually picked options for each other to play. The rules for picking a commander, we chose a turn order, and then we chose a random color for each player. You pick three commanders for each player, and they have to be different colors and different numbers of colors. So for example, if I got green, I could choose Silesnia and Abzan and a four color with green. Of the choice that John gave to me, I picked Nin the Pain Artist. It seemed just elegant for what we're trying to do here. Pick their poison. And so I just want to use my deck to make a lot of mana and then help everybody draw cards until they die, basically. Hey everyone, Julian here. And I chose everybody's favorite jellyfish just because I, I tend to play aggressive decks anyway, and this kind of forced me to do something a little bit weird and janky. I'm going to be helping everybody draw cards and make the creatures bigger and and inevitably hit them with a giant jellyfish. I actually had a blast making this deck. I've decided to play the Melitus 2, also play some really funky nine cast spells with hopefully the chance to win with World Fire. I'm titling this the Cult of Melitus, where I'm giving out cards and mana to everybody, all for the end game of the end of the world. I think it'll be a blast, no pun intended. I'm John, and I went with Aaron Tengiata. I'm looking for a typo of flying for my specific build, but I also put in a lot of card draw into it. So it's that or flying damage to see if we can just end it with combat damage. So oh. Six. I got seven. There's no way this is going to be the time I roll double ones, right? Oh, double sixes though. 12. Oh, okay. All right. I will draw for turn and I'll play a tapped Sun Petal Grove. Pass. Draw. Draw a nice nine cast spell. That's nice. Let's just play a tapped Jetmir's Garden and pass the turn. Hey, okay, I will draw. Command tower, pass. Draw. Let's play an island. Pass. Untap. Okay, draw. I will play a planes. I'm going to play a flump. Mm. It's a zero four flying creature with defender. And whenever it's dealt damage, me and target opponent each draw a card. That's the race of Glunch. Lunch is uh, a flump, just so you know. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Untap, draw a card, play a forest, and pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn, play planes, tap command tower for blue. One of each, I'll cast Watcher of the Spheres. Creature spells with flying cost one less to cast. If I cast a creature with flying, it gets one, one until end of turn. It's a good Pass. one. It's a good one. Draw for turn. I drew a nine mana spell. Whoa! <laughs> what? We'll play a mountain and pass. He has expropriate. Draw. I'll play a forest and I will cast Glunch. Lunch, Lunch time. Up. So it's a 0 5 with flying. And at the beginning of my end step, I choose a player. They put two 1 1 counters on a creature they control. Choose a second player to draw a card and choose a third player to make two treasure tokens. Oh. So I am going to make two treasure tokens for myself. I will have one of you guys that don't have any creatures. I'll put one one counters on. I guess I'll let John draw a card. Woo! Thanks. Draw. And then I'll take the one one counters. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Deal. And and I'm done. I'm just searching up uh, treasure tokens. Draw a card. Play a planes. When a rights of flourishing. Oh, that's draw an extra card. Play an extra, extra land. Card. Yep. This is oh, gonna boy. get interesting. I'll Very play quickly. a canopy vista. This is my second land for turn. And pass the turn. Draw for rights of flourishing. Draw for turn. Okay, I will do an island. Two for arcane signet. Uh, tap for blue and white. I'll cast Empyrean Eagle. Two, three, flyer. Other creatures I control with flying get one, one. Puts a boost on this guy. I'll move to combat. I'll attack Jason for three. I shouldn't have taken get the boost because I cast another flying creature, so it's four. I'll yeah. Focus. Post combat, second main, I will play Miri Landscape as my second turn and then pass. Draw two. Let's play Island and Mountain. I'm going to cast Nin. I will pass. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. And then draw a second card, right? That's it. Yep. Seven mana. Turn three. 
plains and a <laughs> sungrass prairie. I will cast an academy manufacturer so oh, that whenever I wow. make treasures, I make clues and food too. Pass the turn. Trigger Glunch, uh, I will make more treasures, I guess. Might as well. Carlos can draw a card because he's given everybody else cards. Thanks. Jason, you can get some counters on. Oh. And then Lovely. I will make some food and some clues, but I am done. Righty, untap, draw one and two. We'll play a land, a command tower. I guess we'll do this. We'll play Oracle of Moldaya. Mm, seems good. I'll pass the turn. Draw for rights of flourishing. Draw for turn. Okay, I will play an island. This plus this to use Myriad Landscape's ability. I'll tap to sacrifice it to get two basic land of the same type, and then those go into play tapped. Nice. I'm just gonna pull two planes in. These are my two clues, these are my two foods. Hopefully that's, <laughs> that's Yeah, I can see that. Enough. Combat, I'll attack Julian for three. I will block with my flump. I'll let Jason draw the card. Okay. And I will draw a card. Thank you. I'll pass. And uh, draw two. I have advanced us three for land for turn. Naming wizard. I have zero. And then ghostly pilfer. Two, one. Whenever it becomes untapped, I can pay two if I do draw a card. Mm. Whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. Discard a card, he can't be blocked Ooh. this turn. I have a response when priority comes to me. Ooh. I'm just going to cast my commander. because With it has flash. flash. All right, Carlos. Been helping you. Come on. I didn't get you for three. I'm gonna remember this. Gonna discard portal to Phyrexia. That was my nine drop. Wow. Pass turn. I'm gonna flash in an Archivist of Agma, and then I will go to my turn. Untap, draw, and then draw off of... Rites of Flourishing. Yeah, I will play a Bountiful Promenade and a Plains. This, this is mid-power. I, I don't need to make the right play. I am going to play Sterling Grove. Um, Enchantments you control have Shroud, right? Not but I'm going spirit. to immediately sacrifice it and i'm going to put an enchantment on the top of my deck a noble heritage and i'm going to put it on top of my deck i will pay two and sack one of my clues to draw a card and then i will cast noble heritage so this says commander creatures i own have when this creature enters the battlefield and at the beginning of my upkeep each player may put two one one counters on a creature they control for each opponent who does gain protection from that player until my next turn i'll go to my end step i think i'm going to probably just make more treasures i guess and then i'll get two more of each of these why would you not man yeah i will give carlos two counters I will let John, I guess, draw a card because I've let Jason draw two. Hey, I won't say no. And I will pass. Hunt it. Draw a Vidalkanori as well as a Swords to Plowshares. Let's play Heartbeat of Spring. <laughs> it Wait, doesn't double mana. It adds one mana for lands, tap for mana. I have the same exact oh, yeah, type. Right. Pour in the gasoline on there with a Kami of the Crescent Moon, and I'll pass turn. I will untap. I will draw for Kami of the Crescent Moon. I'll draw for Rites of Flourishing, and then I will draw for turn. Island first for turn. Tap for four white. I'm going to cast Heliod the Radiant Dawn. ATB, I don't have a, a target. Two blue, a white, and I'll pay two life, and I'll transform him. So I can cast spells as though they had flash, and then my spells are one colorless cheaper for each card that my opponents have drawn. That this turn. This turn. Mm hmm Oh, gross. Yep. yep. Two white, two blue. I have one blue floating. I'll cast Shielded by Faith on Heliod. So he now has Indestructible. Even though he could be Swords at any moment, that's okay. Two white, blue floating. I'll cast Thunderclap Wyvern. Two, three, flash, flying. Other creatures you control with flying get one, one. I'll adjust that. I got two left. I'll cast Lightning Greaves. Jeez. And I will then move to equip them on Heliod. I will go for a Swords on the okay. heliod that resolves you get four life okay i will move to put the greaves on the thunderclap wyvern instead to give it haste okay combat okay i will attack with everything i'll send the watcher of the spheres toward julian so that is five for that eagle oh, goes yeah. to carlos for three and then these two will go to jason no flyers over here seven i'll take the five pass turn Tap, draw three, right? Rights, commie, and normal. Okay. Island. Let's go with a Darkside Extortionist. Gulp. I'll spend two and sacrifice a clue to draw a card. You draw two cards, he gets six less treasures. I yeah. guess that's fair. Yeah. And yeah, you'll be sure. able to play I'll things draw. and get things. I'll just draw two more cards. So 10 total. Okay, 10. Ancient Silver Dragon. I just want unlimited hand size. That's what I'm doing. 
Battle Mage's Bracers. Tap two to equip it to the dragon. So the dragon has haste. All right, John, uh, we're going to hit you for eight. I cannot block that. So I'm going to roll a d20. I draw that many cards, and I have no max hand size for the rest of the game. One. <laughs> oh, man. You got what you wanted. You got your Beautiful. hand size. The short has just been made for this Oh, episode. my gosh. Perfect. That's amazing. Second land for the turn. I think that's going to be my turn. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Everybody can choose to put two 1-1 one -one counters on a creature they control. If they do, I gain protection from you until my next turn. I'm going to put two 1-1 one -one counters on the lunch. I probably should, as I'm far behind. I'll put it on my pilfer. Two on my commander. Okay, all right. So I have protection from all you people. And it's just me. It's it's, it's not my stuff that also has protection, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's just me. Draw, I'm going to draw three. Well, and I can play two lands. Forest, sure, I guess I'll shock in a temple garden. Why not? I'm going to tap these three for six mana, and I'll cast a regal behemoth and become the monarch. <laughs> And nice. that is going to triple my mana. Gross. <laughs> Literally everyone is doing what my deck does. Six mana. I'll cast a Druid of Purification. Starting with me, each player can choose an artifact or enchantment I don't control. We destroy each permanent chosen this way. I am going to choose the Lightning Greaves. Who has the most yeah. treasures? I oh, have Jason. one. Jason, I'll choose a treasure. Jason has one. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that then. The Battle Mages? The Battle Mages something something. Or I'll choose... John's Arcane Signet. All right, so each of those are destroyed. Let's see. I have two more mana from this floating, so I'm going to cast a Together Forever. When it enters, I'll support two, so I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on two different creatures. I'll put one on my Regal Behemoth, I guess, and one on, one on my Druid of Purification. So now I can pay one mana and choose target creature with a counter on it, and when it dies, I can return it to the owner's hand. Carlos is behind. So Carlos, you and me will each draw three cards. Wow, I've never been targeted by that card. Amulet Vigor, Steam Vents, and a Forest. Nice. Wow, we're into the lands. I will cast Kadira, Caller of the Small, 3-3 three, three, Trample. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I create a 1-1 one, one Rabbit for each token I control. I guess I'll go to combat. Man, I will man. send Glunch at... I'll send 2 to John, 2 to Jason. Am I taking Glunch damage? Jason, you are taking the Glunch damage. Okay, I will go to my end step. I guess I'll continue making the tokens. All right, so I have six food, two clues, two treasures, and I will draw a card for Monarch. And I am at seven, and I'm done. Don't, I'll pass. Do you glunch the other two glunched targets? Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh, I will put one one counter on Jason. You can get two one one counters. John, you can draw a card because I just drew Carlos three cards. All right, that's my turn. Okay, we'll draw. You still get to see all my draws. Celestia Sanctuary, uh, Island. Wow, that was a clump of land. And Zerta Ancient. Oh, oh boy. Uh, okay. And the top card is a Druid of the Elysian Grove. Pay one and play the Amulet of Vigor. And that's actually two mana, huh? Play an island. So play one land for turn and play a Steam Vents. And then it'll come in untapped. So five total, one of it being red, one of it being green for the Zerta Ancient. So each land produces, gets two additional of that color that it's originally tapped for. So then I will tap a Canopy Vista for Azusa. So you have how many remaining land drops? I've played two lands and I have a total of for that I can play of five. So I'm going to play a Celestia Sanctuary and, I, and mm -hmm. it untaps. Yep. And then I will tap it in response to the return of land. So I get four mana. It will do two green, two white. Play a forest. So one more land drop for the turn. I will tap a Jetmir's Garden. Four blue, four red, two white, two colorless, or two green. Sakama. Sakama. Gross. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, man. I had 12 mana. I used nine of it, so I'll have 
we'll just say one of each that's not blue left over. So no no blue left over. And then... And suddenly Carlos became the threat. Is he resolve? My only response is I'm going to cast Flawless Maneuver. Give my creatures indestructible. Once he resolves, he then has it enter the battlefield effect. If you cast it, untap all lands you control. Yeah, that's if you nice. have a counter spell, you should do that before this resolves. Uh, yeah, let's take then. Seven, eight, nine. So X equals seven. So I'm going to shoot Dockside. That's fair. <laughs> so I'm going to draw one, two, six, seven cards. I got nothing. <laughs> uh oh. My achievement was unlocked. Max hand size done. <laughs> yeah, let's shoot that one, that enchantment. For security, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ta I'm gonna pay one mana, and I'm going to activate it, targeting my regal behemoth, druid, and my commander, and then it is destroyed. I'm gonna spend two and two for Vidalkanori. I'll play the Celestial Sanctuary, get four more mana, bounce it for my last land for a turn. I'm going to pay a blue. It's really four blue. It's the only way for me to get out to my commander. When you cast a spell not from your hand, I'll draw a card. Oh, yeah. Let's kill the manufacturer now. That's understandable. He's dead. Good tap for five red. Um, all right, I'm going to shoot Nin. Let's do Kadira and the Heritage. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So I go to my end step. They have a uh, Melitus trigger, which says I draw a card. Uh, the top card is a mana reflection. Each player may put a land card from his or her hand onto the battlefield. Then each opponent who didn't draws a card. I will draw a card. I Actually, draw no, I'll a draw card. a card. I'll draw a card. I'm going to put the Celestia Sanctuary in play, get four mana, and return it to my hand. And then I will shoot. Let's kill a treasure then. That's fine. That is all. I will draw for Kami. I will draw for Rites of Flourishing. And then I will draw for Turn. I will play oh. Planes for Turn. Oh, I was cheating a little bit. I think I was wrong on my mana because I was getting four mana from this land. No, that's correct. Yeah, but I did it with these two. I got four mana with them. Oh, but, yeah, you're right. Oh, 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 yeah. Just tap one of your lands. Yeah, you're yeah, right. right. Just now, one land more tapped would have been enough, for, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. I'll tap a planes for three. I will cast Silverblade Paladin. Uh, my target for its soul bond is Errant and Giada. So it gives them both double strike. Everybody goes really quiet. <laughs> and then three white, three blue. I'll cast Sarah the Benevolent. Two blue left over. Sarah comes in with four. I'll up her for two, which gives all my creatures with flying one, one until end of turn. He now has six. Let's do a cheeky move. I'll use the two blue. I will cast Drain Power, targeting Carlos. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. That's, That's so awesome. funny. <laughs> You're making me do it now. Okay, I'm tapping five lands. And getting 15 mana. That means I can do five bolts. We'll do the chaos warp on your commander. Tap for three. In response to that, I'll cast Eerie Interlude. And I'll target all of my creatures. Let's respond to that by shooting the 2-2 the two, two dude. Okay. And I will let the everything else resolve. So Interlude resolves. And then these are exiled. Drain power on the stack. All right. I have to shoot the dragon. You're going to use all three of it at him? Yeah. Lazo tap plating. Permanents I control get hexproof. And myself, I get hexproof. And I amass one. Nice. All right. The spell will resolve. I'm tapped out. Okay. I don't get anything. That's lame. <laughs> three. I'll cast this... navigation orb. One blue left over. I'll crack the orb. Sacrifice the search library for two basic land cards. And it's basically a Kodama's Reach in artifact form. Yeah, it costs five, though. I'll grab an island, and then I'll grab this planes, and that will go in my hand, which I will then play for my second land drop for turn. Okay, we'll tap the three whites. I'll use the blue floating, and I will cast Wrath of God. Nice. Before that happens, I'll pay this one mana and sack my two clues to draw two cards. I'll go to end step, and then these will come back in. How are I'll pass turn. Get to her, you know. Draw, draw. Three mana four. Chromatic lantern. Loading a blue. Four. They're ready. Scrap seven. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, here it yeah. comes. Minus two. Sacrifice an artifact. If I do return target artifact from my graveyard to the battlefield, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. 
That's easy. Ooh. Darn. <laughs> At the beginning of my upkeep, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. It's a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. Phyrexian's a comma? No! We're going to cast Forsaken Monument, floating an extra mana. Red. Coalition Relic. One, two, three. I gain two life when I cast a colorless spell. Play a mountain for turn and then an island as my second land drop. I'm gonna is that charm the watcher of the spheres. Two damage to target <laughs> creature. Ornithopter of Paradise with the two floating mana. I gain two life. Pass. Untap. Draw two. Alright, and I can play two lands. Command tower planes. Eight, so that's sixteen. Doing that's this territory. to maximize mana because I am casting farewell. Ooh, no, nice. all my cool things. I am exiling everything. I'm gonna float one with my treasure, so I actually have one additional four mana excavation technique. I'm gonna destroy a target non-land permanent, and I will demonstrate it. So I'll allow someone to copy it. It's really not gonna matter because there's literally only two targets. So I'm Ooh. gonna destroy both the planeswalkers, and uh, both of you are gonna get two treasure tokens. Four. I will cast Master of Ceremonies. At the beginning of my upkeep, each opponent chooses money, friends, or, or secrets. Money, they get a treasure and I get a treasure. Friends, they get a token, I get a token. Secrets, they get a, they draw a card, I draw a card. Cast my commander for five mana. I was trying to end the game, you guys. You guys just restarted the game. <laughs> and then I will pay three to take the initiative. So I'm gonna search my library for a basic land card. Forest to my hand. I'll spend my last floating three mana to cast Lauren of the Third Path. I and mean, when it enters, I will destroy one of your two treasures, Jason. I tap it and sacrifice it. Okay. <laughs> <That's fair>. <laughs> <laughs> End step. I will put two 1-1 one -one counters on Glunch. I will Ooh. let John draw one card. Carlos, you can have two treasure tokens. I give them two. It's, it's fair. All right, that's my turn. And then at the end of the turn, I will draw off of Monarch. Draw for turn. Play Mana Reflection. Playing that for four mana? You gave me two treasures. Oh. I High five, that. Julian. Although I probably should <laughs> save them. <laughs> Tap for four. Play Dryad of Elysian Grove. One floating. I'll play the Celestia Sanctuary. This is my first land for turn. I'll bounce Forest. I'll play my second land for turn because of my Dryad. Four, five, six, seven. Still have one floating. But I can play my commander. I'm living the high life over here. So I'll go to my end step. I'll draw a card. And then each of you can put a land into play or draw a card. I will draw. I'll, I'll draw a card. Draw a card. I didn't draw a land, so I cannot put any into play. And then I'm done. I will draw for turn. I'll tap for 10 and cast Jenga Taxius. <laughs> oh, <laughs> famous right. mid card. Guys, guys, my max sound size is now reduced by seven. <laughs> that's that's what I got. I'll move to end step and I'll draw seven. And you got to discard down to seven? Yes. I'll keep those. Yes. Yes. Draw one. Yeah, just draw one. Okay. Just one. Yeah, just one. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Island. Third path iconoclast. Mm -hmm. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. Four mana for my own Vidalkian orary. I create a soldier... Past turn. Untap. Upkeep is when initiative triggers, right? That's right. I'm just going to write Undercity on uh, this sticky note. Okay, so yeah, I'm entering the forge. Undercity trigger, I'm going to put two counters on Glunch. And then Master of Ceremonies. For each of you that do so, I will do so. I'll take a card. I'll take okay. secrets. I too will draw a card. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to draw three cards and then draw for turn. Mikokoro, center of the sea. <laughs> I'm going to tap one and play Soul Ring. I will send White Plume Adventure and Master of Ceremonies at Jason. I do and... have Vidalkin Orrery and I do have Iconoclast, just as a heads up. And I'll send Glunch at Carlos, just because he has the most life. In response to attackers, going to flash in Arcane Signet, create another 1-1, one, one, 3. Then we're going to cast at instant speed because of Orrery, Basalt Monolith. I'll create another 1-1. One, one. And then I will block the three one ones. White Plume Adventurer, of all, all three of these will block there. Okay. And I, I take three. Trade. I am going to pay to cast Healing Technique with Demonstrate. I'm going to return two cards from my graveyard to my hand and gain leaf, life equal to their mana value. I'm going to choose Farewell and 
excavation technique, I guess. So I'm gonna gain 10. <laughs> I'm demonstrating it on you, Carlos, but you don't have a graveyard, so you're not gonna get anything back. And then I will cast the farewell. I think I'm going to cast a fairy's protection so that I keep my stuff. Everything of mine nice. is phased out and I am just exiling everything besides lands. And I have too many cards in hand, so I'm going to discard a planes and a, and a hall of Heliod's generosity. I'm done. Yeah, you are. Cut it out. Play forced. Well, I'm playing Grothalot. Defender. When he enters the battlefield, search his library for any number of cards that have CM or mono value 9. Reveal them, put them in your hand, shuffle. Oh, oh no. World fire's coming. <laughs> <laughs> there is Miogen of Life's Web. Rhea Dawnbringer. Apex Althazar is the fighting dinosaur. World fire is world fire. Soulfire Eruption. Skitterbeam Battalion. Six cards. Puts me at eight in hand. Go to seven in hand, but it's sort of ironic. Folio of Fancies. Players have no maximum hand size. So for double X, I can make us each draw X. For three, I can make us make you guys mill cards equal the number of cards in your hand. Double achievement unlocked. Everybody. I got two unlimited hand you sizes. You do have two unlimited hand <laughs> sizes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all for me. I will untap. I'll draw for turn. I'll cast Mind Crank. I'll just read it. Whenever an opponent loses life, that player puts that many cards from the top of their library into your graveyard. I'll cast Metropolis Reformer. It's a 2-3 Flying Vigilance. I have Hexproof. And whenever it's dealt damage, I gain that much life. So it's like the opposite side of Lifelink. I'll cast Midnight Clock. 3 to put an hour counter on it. Uh, when it hits the 12th hour, I shuffle my graveyard and my hand into my library and draw 7. And I exile it. 2 for Swiftfoot Boots. And then I'll use the Midnight Clock's mana ability to equip it to the Metropolis Reformer. I'll move to combat. I'll fly Carlos for 2. Yeah. And then you mill to pass. And uh, draw for turn, cast Nin using Path of Ancestry. Spray one, bottom. Oh, Artemis, the all seeing. That's foul. Sorry. What does it do? I couldn't, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so it's a four five flying sphinx. I can pay two and a blue tap, draw two cards, and discard a card. Whenever this deals any damage to an opponent, I can reveal my hand. If cards with at least six different uh, mono values are revealed this way, that player loses the game. I'll play a tap scene vents and pass the turn. So all my stuff is coming back. Oh, it's actually a Tempsis. A Tempsis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Upkeep. Undercity will trigger. I'm I'm gonna go to Tempsis. Master of Ceremonies, what does everybody want? Yeah, I'll draw a card. Okay, you are drawing a card, I will draw a card. Um, John. I'm just gonna draw a card. I'll take, way, I'll take treasure, actually. I will make a treasure. And I'll take a card. Forest for turn. Everybody gets another card. Uh, each opponent draws a card, then I draw a card for each opponent who drew this way. Well, we have to. You have to. All right, so I will draw three. Hour counter on midnight clock. I guess I'll go to combat. So I have Glunch and Master of Ceremonies. I'm gonna attack John with both of these? I will take seven. Glunch is four, right? Yes. I am going to cast Seasoned Dungeoneer, gain the initiative again, so I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the Archives and draw a card. It's for Archon of Coronation. Never mind. Aww. The damage doesn't cause me to lose life. As long uh, as he's the Monarch. Basically, the first time someone hits me with a creature, it's not going to hurt me. You'll just take the Monarch and the... Initiative. Yeah. Yeah. That's my turn. Um, I will draw off of Monarch. And Glunch, thank you. Yeah, sorry, this is a lot to keep track of. I just want to kill people with Glunch, man. I'll <laughs> put the counters on Glunch. <laughs> uh, Jason, draw a card. John, get two treasure tokens. You done, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Draw for turn. Upkeep, hour counter. Oh, wait, Julian, you didn't need to discard. You have unlimited hand size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maximum. Oh, all players oh, have no maximum hand size. Hey. About okay. Let's play Stomping Ground, lose some life. Mill two cards. Correct. As far as headquarters and the forest. All right, Zendikar Resurgent. Let's see if we can. <laughs> oh no! That is ten mana, or Miogen of the Life's Web. Indestructible. Indest is a divinity counter. Divine. Oh, I draw a card from Zendikar Resurgent as I cast a creature spell. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Power counter. Draw for turn. I'll play Glacial Fortress as my land for turn. I will pay four well, yeah. to cast Audric, Lunark Marshal. Then I will cast Boon Bringer Valkyrie. It has backup one, so I can put a 1 1 counter or on a creature. If it's another creature, it gains the other abilities of it. Put the plus one plus one counter on the Valkyrie instead, so it's a 5 5, and then it can go through the. That's fair. The I coronation. Like idea. I will move to combat. Okay, I am going to sword your Audric. I figured. Free life. At the end of his main phase. And I will pass. Oh, Flush. you said upkeep time counter. So draw one card. 
Um, we'll play a land for turn, Frost Boil Snar Snarl. It's going to be untapped. Here's a mountain in my head. So we're going to cast Paradise Bloom, naming blue. So when any player casts a blue spell, I gain a life. And then I can also tap it to add a blue mana now. Commander Sphere. That's true. Desert Cron Scepter. Exiling Dramatic Reversal. Wow. Okay. The thing is, you can't go infinite right now because you, you only make as much mana as you create. Right. But, but I can gain infinite life. Oh, yeah. Yep. I just love how it says 999. That's cool. You don't see that every day. Windfall? I will respond to it, though. So, windfall on the stack? I'm going to tap. Jason, how did you pay for the windfall? Because I ended with untapping my stuff, and I had an extra land open. Oh, you did have a land open. Oh, okay, okay. I'll let you and me draw a card. I'm going to path to exile Atemsis. Yeah, yeah basic tap. Or Atemsis. I will remove this divinity counter and put in these four creatures. The only new one is the title Barracuda. Any player may cast spells as though they had flash. It says your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. My opponents. Apex Alt Zora will come into play and he will fight up to one target creature I don't control and it has enrage whenever it deals damage it fights up to one target creature I don't control you'd be able to hit Nin for one this for three this for five you have one toughness left and you hit his flyer yeah yeah, yeah. I think that's the best for now all right so these are dead and yours John uh, it does have lifelink I gain five life not ten right it yep. however much damage it deals yeah all right and then we're each drawing nine cards that's all the damage i can do infinite life enough. <laughs> no big deal i have one mana okay go ahead untap upkeep i will go ahead and go to the last stage of the dungeon which is the throne i reveal a top 10. you hopeful guys have initiate. stuff to maybe take on infinite life i can blow up his isaac Ron scepter hopeful initiate i can remove the two counters that he's getting from the throne of the dead pharaoh and destroy target artifact or enchantment oh really quick i'm gonna tap this for blue and cast brainstorm so okay. i'll draw three and then i'll put two <laughs> Okay, on top well, of my library. Then... Back. Master of Ceremonies, what's everybody doing? Yeah, I'll draw a card. Treasure. I'll draw a card. Okay, and then draw for turn. I'm going to play Viridian Revel, buying myself some insurance, Protector of the Crown. Any damage dealt to me is dealt to this creature instead. It's a 2-5. I'm tapping 2 to cast Evolutionary Escalation. Beginning of my upkeep, I put 3 counters on a creature I control and 3 counters on a creature an opponent controls. Go to combat. 11 coming at you, Jason. So um, the only you don't take any damage, thing is, basically. But I take 6 Glunch damage, so I'm at 8 Commander Oh damage. yeah, I forgot about Commander damage. 10. 11. So I mail all of these Guards. I'm gonna play a Rogue's Passage. Glunch coming in, Glunch. Oh, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Glunch trigger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow Glunch. Card to sure, Jason. You can draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> I give treasures to John. Carlos is scary enough. I will draw from Monarch. I've got some stuff to cast on your end step as well. I'll cast Gold Forge Thopteryx. It's a 1-3 flying lifelink. Each legendary permanent I control has Ward 2, which right now is 0. I'll use 2 treasure first to cast Rest in Peace. My using the treasure, don't they, aren't they sacrificed and it triggers your card? Yes, uh, how many rebels. treasures are you so using? draw 2. In response to Rest in Peace, we'll crack mm -hmm. a treasure. So that's 3 mana. I'm going to cast Skullwinder. I can return target a card from my graveyard to my oh. Oh, no. I'm going to choose the guy that oh, okay. deals damage equal to toughness. Yeah, and then I can choose someone else to do the same. Give me Worldfire. Um, John, take whatever you want. I'll return Fire Main Commando back to my, Wait, back to my hand. Why was... So Rest in Peace will resolve. Graveyards are exiled. I'll use the remaining four treasure to cast Leyline of Anticipation. That's all I can do. You guys can't cast spells, but you can use abilities. Just remember that. I'll draw for turn. I have three accomplishments unlocked, by the way. Infinite <laughs> life, life infinite and double, life, double. max hand size. Speaking of which, I'll put the seventh hour counter on it. Seven, eight mana for this new next bloom ancient. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. That's a card. Yep. We will trigger <sighs> and send a card surgeon. <laughs> well. I'll draw a card. Yeah, we can't cast anything, so. But he can activate hopeful initiate. Not yet, once. because I'm doing things well, do. that don't give him priority, like playing well, lands, holding priority. Ah, uh, you Is must. Zendikar. Was that seven? We'll have some green and white, or dictate of Karametra. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you got it, buddy. There's two more. Let's say green. I tap a red now for five, and we'll use three of it or mana flare. Let's use this mana. Mina and Den. Rosemary a card. 
Let's play Emergence Zone for turn. I'm now going to play the Wayward Sword too. So I tap this for five oh, green. I have the City's Blessing. Isn't that six green? Because it triples it with the six, layer, right. plus yep. the Resurgent. Yep. Yeah, so there's a lot. Three green left over. Forest. All Farseek with two of the mana. I will cast with the last mana a Sakura Tribe Scout. Oh, I didn't think I drew from the Wayward Sword Tooth. So draw from the Sword Tooth, draw from the Tribe Scout. Just do everything I can though, for fun. Ranger's Path, we'll get Cinder Glade. So our audience can be like, so we wanted to watch a game where all of them played all their deck and- uh... Oh, I can attack still. Attack with these five. I'm gonna send four flying at Julian, the rest at Jason. 24. I think it's funny how Jason doesn't have to adjust his life total. Okay, so yeah, that's four coming at me. Protector of the Crown will take the four for me. Second main phase, Seedborn Muse. I'm going to pass the turn. I will go ahead and remove two counters, target folio of fancies. I will put 24 Six mana in my mana pool. Let's each draw 12 cards. The resolves. I'll remove shoot Nix Bloom agent. So yep. go ahead, John. Okay. Carlos, oh, uh, Carlos, I think Carlos you do have to discard the seven because Folio's gone, yeah? Mm, I do. Bunch of lands, Sky Shroud Claim, and AC Tyrant of the Gyre Street. And then I will oh, draw. So oh, sorry, upkeep. I get an hour counter. There's eight on it. I'll play an island for turn. Like John's in. Seven. I will cast Approach. Okay, then. And so if that resolves, I'll put it seventh from the top. I'll gain seven life. I move to combat and I attack Jason for three. Okay. <laughs> Tap my one island for three mana. Thank you, Carlos. I will cast Thought Vessel and I still have two maximum hand sizes. I have a floating blue. That's a third unlimited hand size. <laughs> In response, sack this treasure. Channel Maseju to destroy oh. the uh, Isochron. The, yeah, yeah, the scepter. So this is destroyed and then Thought Vessel resolves. Blue and colorless. Fairy Mastermind flashed in. Ooh. And block the, the two damage. I'm gonna counter it. <laughs> Whoa, an actual <laughs> counter spell? Oh. At this point, wow. Wow. So I mill three. That was a good last gambit, Jason. Uh, I was yeah, yeah. Not expecting uh, all of that. That was impressive. Oh, thank you. It was. I still am not dead. <laughs> You're not dead yet. Yeah. Three white, three blue. I will cast Austere Command. I will destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less and converted mana cost four or greater. All right. Okay. How could you? I might flash some stuff in. It's not going to affect you, I don't think. Let's flash in a Howling Mine. Okay, and then all the creatures are gone. Nine, one white floating. I will cast Storm Tide Leviathan. All lands or islands in addition to their other types. Creatures without flying or island walk cannot attack. Tap for three white. I use the one floating. I'll cast Court of Grace. He's I become monarch. the monarch. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> Hands off. What a monster. I will move to end step and then I will draw from Monarch and then I will discard down to seven. Your turn, Jason. Two, three. Okay. So untap, upkeep. If you had the uh, Barracuda out still, I would have cast Hammer of Nizan, but attached an in. Hammer of Nizan says whenever any art equipment enters the battlefield under my control, I attach it. Swift foot boots attached an in, and then I would have made Julian draw like 38 cards or something with the remaining mana. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. On my draw step, I'm going to draw a card and kill myself. There. I'll, I'll, on my own terms. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I have draw. a response. I'll tap for three to cast Windfall. I'm going to beast within your Stormtide Leviathan, I guess. Should have equipped it. That's okay. I'm going to respond and crack an Emergent Zone. So four or more mana. Yeah, I think I'll flash in Lauren of the Third Path, and I'll draw a card from Zendikar Surgent. If that resolves, I'm going to target Leyline of Antis, uh, Leyline of whatever. I'm going to, in response, cast a Mirror Maid as a copy of Leyline of Anticipation. That's pretty good. Got another Destroyed one. Destroyed Exile. I will now redundancy. Wow. Get four mana, four white, four green. So then four white, <sighs> Mastermind. That's four blue and a green. Draw a card. Patron of the moon. One, two blue, four green, and a white. Salvala. Yikes. Draw a card. Four green. Tap one, put two land cards from your hand into play tapped. So four green, two lands into play. Overabundance. Now anytime we tap mana after these, 
I take a land of damage for each land we tap. Four red, two red, and a green. I do have a response to after overabundance comes in. So I can tap that for four, correct? Take a damage, get four whites. I'll cast Alms Collector. Thanks for a target. <clears throat> I'll get four whites, or five whites. Take a damage. I will path to exile your alms guy. <laughs> that gets me a tapped land. And now I have to shuffle. Sad. And then I'll pay one to put two lands into play, but I only have one. And then I have no cards in hand. And the spell will resolve unless you have anything else. Everybody ready to draw 21? Did I just hey. actually deck myself? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 11, 12. Wow, I have two yeah. cards left. I might die. How many do you guys have left in your deck? I have 11. I have four. We draw Alling Mine. Draws us to <laughs> our turn. Okay, Windfall goes to exile. And I'm drawing this 21 cards. Well, I'll play a Leyland of Anticipation. Four, five blue, take a damage. Well, I'm just going to put a bunch of lands from hand into play with this extra mana. One, I can do one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. And I lose the last two mana, I think. So when you've been taking damage from overabundance, have you been milling? No. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up there. I can respond to that, I guess, though, to keep it simple, even though I don't want to save this with oblation on it, on the mind crank. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 So you're. If you're going to cast that, that's fine. All oblation, mind crank, just to keep it simple. Of... Bottom of my library, right? Yeah. Shuffle it in and then draw two. Shuffle it in and draw two, yep. Sorry, I wasn't watching. I didn't even pay attention either. I shouldn't I have played about that either. overabundance at that point. If There's I a would... lot going on. Draw two. Okay. It is my turn. Untap. I might have a way to draw. Make it a draw after all of this. <laughs> draw. Oh, and Howling Mine, I draw two. I have ten cards left. No, I'm already draw. dead. Fairy Mastermind makes me draw two. I have to draw a second one from your turn because of my Howling Mine. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Um, oh. I can cast Silvala. I'm going to play a Gaia Reach Sanitarium. Did you take damage for Savala tapping mana? Oh, I forgot. I'm still getting like a ton of bonus mana, aren't I? You're getting bonus yeah, yeah. every time a land taps, though, you take a damage. And each of these tap. Okay, so I'm just going to take two damage, and I have three floating or something like that. I take another damage. Here, I'm going to cast an Avatar of Growth, and uh, each player is going to search their library for two basic land cards <laughs> onto the battlefield. You can fail to fail find. Fail to find. It's a okay. untapped. Untapped, yes. I found two basic islands left in my... I'll shuffle yeah. my eight cards remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think my life total matters anymore. I'm going to cast Privileged Position. Other permanents I control have Hexproof. Three I'm more. sorry. I did have oh. a response. Oh, okay. My bad. I, I drew Mind Crank, so... What? <laughs> in response to Mind Crank, I'm playing Mirari's Wake and Regal Behemoth. <laughs> Yeah! I think I've played every single mana doubler. I take Blue one. Ancient. That's an achievement unlocked. It is. Yeah. I mean, uh, actually seriously. feel like it is an achievement unlocked. In response, uh, I'm just going to tap, I think, just all my mana. So I have 15 mana. I'm casting Glunch and Arasta. Who has, who has initiative? I would have just searched for a basic land. It was um, failed to find anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will generous gift the mind crank Ow. still playing my Mirari's wake and regal behemoth so you draw a card carlos oh i can't play Re yeah yeah i do yeah and that's i think all i got i think i had to tap this land though to pay for that i think that's all i've got all right i'm going out with the blaze of glory hey, on my on, upkeep on. Hold on. I'm going to use the mana I've got left over. Okay. Uh, two blue. Tap that for four more. I'll cast Judge's Familiar, and then I'll cast Jubilant Skybonder, and then I will cast Soul Ring. That's good. End of turn. Put some lands into play. Take one damage. Two lands. All right. Untap. Upkeep. I get seven per. Oh, and Glunch triggered on your end step, Julian. Oh, yes. Uh, John, I'm having you draw a card. Uh, of course. I'm putting one one counters on Glunch, because why not? And then Carlos can make some treasure tokens. Okay, I can't tap all my mana because I'll die. Overabundance. On my upkeep, tap 22 lands. Some more of it on these four lands. That's another one. I got all my bounce lands out. That's cool. We're just doing achievements here, Jason. So much mana without overabundance. Why did I do overabundance? Carlos. Yeah. Overabundance is a triggered ability. Mm -hmm. And so if you can 
stack everything, all of the damage, then you can tap everything out, tap it again with Magus Accountable, right? Yes. And then if you have something instant speed, then you can do whatever Good before call. all of the damage triggers resolve. 82. Yeah, 26 times 7. What is it? 182. 32. Another 32 is 214. Take 30 of that mana. 184. And then time tap it all again for what was the total again? And add that so, 214 to the first. 398. All right, it's not 1,000. <laughs> I'm getting 398 mana. Wow. All of the damage is on the stack. All the damage is on the stack. Cast a bunch of creatures. In response to the Zendikar triggers, I'll cast another creature. Another we'll creature. Never resolve, though. <laughs> and then another creature. And then I'll Fairy Mastermind and make every. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to you, Julian. I'll give you a shot. All right. I die. On my own. My own sword. I'll move to Dang. my turn. All right. Wow. Okay, upkeep. Court of Grace will trigger. I am still the monarch, so I get a 4 4 angel. Didn't you need to add a counter to Midnight Clock? I do. Did you add one on Carlos's turn? I did not. That's actually 11. Did you add Are one you gonna on gamble? Julian's turn? Ooh. I did not. So that would mean that it would trigger on my upkeep. So it's there. So I untap, and the question is do I want to cast anything before it triggers? So I'm going to tap for 6. And prior to that resolving, I'm going to cast... You can also tap it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Take one back. I'm going to cast the Archetype of Imagination. All my creatures have flying, and then all creatures that currently have flying lose it and cannot regain it. Okay. I'll cast Zatalpa. You got it. <laughs> and then Midnight Clock will trigger. That gets exiled. My hand gets shuffled into my grave or my library, which actually kind of does me a favor. Show me the approach. Well, let's see if I you know. have it. I do not. Oh... With, I have just enough. Okay, this this will be kind of cool. I'll pay three to cast Jace's Archivist. Oh, I need one more. Crap. Oh, I didn't play land. Ha! Ah, awesome. It's white though. I need to be blue. Sorry. I will equip. I'll equip the boots to Zatalpa, and then I'll move to combat. I'll just swing out with what I've got when I can. Skybunker probably. Yeah, yeah. I'll just put a rest in front of whatever. How much damage? 16. End of your turn? Yes. Okay, untap, upkeep, well, no, draw. Well, anytime you would draw a card and you can't, you die. So. Yep. Yep. It, it happens yeah. right away. Upkeep, I'm going to put three 1-1 one, one counters on Glunch. It's up to five, so this is 10. I'll tap two mana to cast Assault Formation. I will Rogue's Passage, uh, spending the four mana to make Glunch unblockable. And I will, I will hit you for 10 commander it's not quite lethal but it's super close i will cast promise of loyalty each creature puts a vow counter on a creature they control and sacrifices the rest and a creature with a vow counter can't attack me you're keeping glunch? those are all gone uh yeah keeping glunch i'm gonna keep the archivist oh and you also get the monarch back and oh that screws me initiative if you the monarch screws me actually i can't win oh <laughs> The monarch kills me. Well, you have a card in hand and deck, right? Well, yeah, but 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 I'll never get to my next turn. I'll just die. You'll have a yeah, keep, so maybe. Is the monarch you may or not? No. End step, draw a card. Dang. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, well, yeah, I forgot about monarch. So I will oblation, glunch back into my deck and draw two cards and die to the monarch trigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What a game. As always, a big shout out to our king patrons, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. We have amazing samurai patrons also. Chris Crowley, LDAP, and Morton Christensen. And remember everybody, keep it nerdy.